Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the J Gemini. Um, been a while since I posted a video. Just kind of hard with uh, right now. I got a baby going through sleep regressions, and uh, you know, the, oops, the last thing I want to do is uh, wake him up. So uh, I wanted to actually bring this though. This is something I didn't see anybody else make online, and uh, had this for a good amount of time and I finally got this optic in to make it a floody optic right now it's kind of a TIR kind of what you get in your basic Olight that has a little bit of flood and then also uh, you know a focus beam this is going to disperse all that and basically make it one big flood so what I've got is I've got a pair of needle nose pliers taped up real good because I don't want to scratch this bezel up and as you can see inside of this bezel you have these eight notches so it doesn't take a specialized tool Basically, you're going to take your needle nose and really carefully and respectfully, as I always say, right? Um, you're going to sit those in there so you're not scraping it on anything. Then once you've yelled those out all the way, you're going to turn this. And it's it's almost too easy. You're like, wait, that's it? It's, it's really doing it, right? But as you can see, that is coming out. So now I'm going to close that up. And the O-ring makes it kind of tight, so yeah, there we go. So very slowly, just now turning everything, and there you go. Really nicely made, and it came out with the lens as well. So I'm just gonna really softly set this on the edge of the table over here. You can't see it, and I'm going to rotate. Hmm. Seems like it's kind of pressed in there, so I'm going to try and get a piece of tape to get it out. Let's see here. Huh, and that's all it needed. Just a piece of tape, that way I'm not getting my fingerprints really in anything. There's no seals or anything, so you don't have to worry. And then that's what the guts look like in the inside of the uh, DW4. So the next thing we're just going to do is uh, we're going to reverse the process. We're going to take this in the baggie. This is the floody frosted optic. And we're just going to interface it in these four holes on the inside here. Um, there's no real way that this is uh, important, but there's like this little tab where basically that all that is is that's where they, uh, you know, forge it in the plastic or whatever. So, I guess I'm just going to set it off to the side here. Mm, off to the bottom, that's what I'll do. Because uh, when you're holding this, you know, vertically, if you did lose any light, which you really don't, uh, you know, that's going to be the place that I don't care about the most. There we go. So I set it in there, pushed it in. It's, uh, it's in there. So now, I'm going to reverse the process. I've got the lens as well as all the o-rings and all that stuff over here and i'm being careful not to just let it fall out or touch it so it doesn't get a fingerprint i'm going to carefully rotate in there you go and i'm just going to start to thread yep there we go drops in just backed it off until it dropped in I'm going to hand tighten it, and then I'm going to do the opposite of what I did. Like I always say, slowly and respectfully, go in here and get all these all the way out, open them up. Okay. And it sort of just stops when bottoms out, so it's not like there's a point at which you're like, Oh, is it too much? Is it not enough? Now, there we go. We got floodiness. Very nice. So there, usually there's a hot spot here. Now there's just more flood. So really cool, really simple little video. Didn't really want to make it too, uh, too much. And as you can see, still see that. And you can probably still see the LED, plus it has the top illuminated one. So that's the video. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Um, going to want to get more content out like this, reviews on this and other sort of things. But just that little simple guy. Have a great night. Everybody stay safe. Peace.